welcome welcome back to space engineers on the xbox on the series x in the wake of reaching 2000 plus subscribers uh, last time i checked it was 2002 earlier on it was 2001 so myself and paul have hit the green light on the star wars all-terrain armored transport and the all-terrain scout transport released into the wild on mod io i'll leave a link in the description of this video to that but if you check my community page on the channel my community tab you'll see i've already put the link up there if you're a member of the xbox space engineers group as well uh, on facebook i put the link up there and if you follow me on twitter i put the link up on there i will leave the links to the facebook group to the twitter to the discord all in this description but why are we here well this is a very simple fire and forget missile and it uses the two new blocks that came with the automatons the ai offensive combat and the ai flight move block now hopefully my audio isn't cutting in and out like norman collier the comedian if it is then i'm going to have to wait until um, i can get some clarification on the issue with this with microsoft and uh, i'm not the only one being plagued by this issue a lot of twitch streamers are a lot of people who use twitch to record onto youtube are having loads of problems anyway let's look at this missile this is the simplest form of said missile it consists of around four to five batteries and thrusters in every direction except reverse you don't want a reverse thruster not on a missile one warhead one gyroscope and the two blocks from automatons so we go into the missile and take a look at the setup you'll see that our warhead is set arm i've left the detonation time to 10 because it doesn't matter because it will explode the moment it detects an impact but the most important part of this is the ai flight move block and don't worry about collision avoidance on this uh, you don't really need to bother with it precision mode you can turn off completely speed limit 100 min altitude ignore p gravity ignore these leave as they are 45 degrees and that's all you need on that one then the ai offensive combat block what we're looking to do with this one is turn on its ai behavior and then we want it to attack enemies we want it to target the largest grid and we want it to search every five seconds for a target we want its threatening subsystem as default and we want its attack pattern and this is the most important thing we want that on intercept so that it will attempt to intercept an enemy grid and ram into it that is the core of your missile then your guidance type you can leave as basic and check override collision avoidance make sure that's on because that's another important part of this whole thing and then with this as is all you need to do really is go to your ai flight move block like so and put its behavior to one and because it's not doing any collision avoidance it will go straight from the nearest enemy grid and bang there you go so let's just go to the replay tool hit reload world and if you're unsure how to open the admin menu in space engineers it's rb and y dead simple and there's a lot of cool functions uh, if you watch my new players guides you'll see i go through the admin tool with a fine toothed comb this one is a little more complex in that it's bigger it has four gyroscopes a ton of batteries 
an event controller and it has the two AI blocks again and if you notice the flight move block is placed correctly this is something that you need to do to get this to work you make sure the L is there and the R is there the front symbol is front and the rear is rear you can put the signal block anywhere on the missile you want again another warhead set to detonate and two merge blocks one of these merge blocks is controlled by this control panel here and the event controller is sitting on this grid so that we'll just use this terminal here panel. if we look at the event controller it's looking for a merge block merged or unmerged and it's looking for the small merge block HQ and then now it's looking for that its actions are to turn the AI flight move on and off so when I hit the merge block your event controller is going to detect that it's been released it's going to turn the AI on and the missile is going to smack directly into the grid and that is how you make fire and forget missiles in Space Engineers fairly simply just by using the two blocks gyroscope power thrusters warhead and if you were going to fire this from a ship again you'd have a merge block and you'd have an event controller and you detect that the merge block was released and missiles away and because it locks onto the largest grid it will be looking for big ships or any enemy grid within range every five seconds and they're fairly accurate i mean they're not going to um it all the time just most of the time they are however a lot of fun to have a play around with so yeah there you go that is it that's all i really wanted to do with today's video there will be more on the event controller itself there will be more on ai flight blocks i'll be showing you how to make a little drone that can follow you around and uh, it will stay within range keeping the player in view it can be useful if you attach a cargo box to it to have a little cargo drone that can follow you around and if you know what you're doing with the new blocks you could even have a button when you press it the drone scoots off goes back home drops off the cargo and then comes scooting back to you all that and more to come in my space engineers series i'm also thinking of starting a brand new survival series with these new blocks and seeing how i can do work with that but i still have to continue with my space engineers survival guide for new players and uh, we still need to go into space properly with my uh, little junk rocket ship so until then though stay safe take care have fun enjoy the game thank you for the likes the subscribes and the support Here's to many more videos and lots more fun with Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X. That's all from me. Bye for now.